House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlad joins us now. Uh, sir, thanks for joining us. Uh, your bill, Securing America's Future Act, uh, go, go through these bullets, if you will, with us and, and why this could be the answer that sort of bridge, bridges the divide that, that right now seems to be a stumbling block for this. Well, I think what the president did in ending an illegal program uh, called DACA, but then calling on Congress to take care of uh, the DACA recipients and at the same time secure our borders and uh, chain migration and end the visa lottery program uh, was just the right prescription to get the House and the Senate Republicans and Democrats talking to each other. The bill which I've introduced along with Chairman McCall of the Homeland Security Committee uh, and the two subcommittee chairs, Raul Labrador of the Immigration Subcommittee and Judiciary and Martha McSally of the Homeland Security Subcommittee on Border Security does just that. Uh, it provides for DACA recipients, but it also calls for what we need at the border, what we need to make sure that when people are apprehended when they cross the border can be returned safely home, what we need to deal with sanctuary cities and uh, uh, people who continually come across the border and violate what would be Kate's law, which passed the House earlier, and ending chain migration in the visa lottery and setting the stage, but we don't do it in this bill, but setting the stage to moving to a merit-based immigration system uh, is a great thing. And I think the president did a great job yesterday no, I, I think uh, the before president the American did, people. Did, did a phenomenal job, and I was happy we had the opportunity as citizens to watch that happen in real time. And now the big question is the next act. Where do you go from here? Your bill, obviously, an important part of that. I would ask, though, that to me, it seems low-hanging fruit would be uh, a merit-based immigration system, not unlike one adopted by our neighbors to the north in Canada, but also the resistance from Democrats to insist that a border wall cannot be part of the final deal. Well, a border wall, uh, first of all, we're not talking, and the president made it very clear yesterday, we're yeah. not talking about a 2,000-mile-long wall. We're talking about fixing walls and fences uh, that are uh, not up to, to, to snuff today, adding them in new high-crime and high-population areas, but not building a wall where you've got mountains, rivers, deserts uh, that... Uh, don't yeah, the topography the it makes it uh, either unnecessary or impractical. But I do want to ask on the DACA part, though, if there's going to be, uh, if you're going to compromise and, and, you'll, and you'll have DACA, you'll accept DACA, a lot of folks want to know, does that include voting rights? Is that just pure amnesty? How would that work? And how would you make people who voted solely for President Trump on the issue of the wall and, 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 and ditching DACA, uh, what would you tell them? Well, I think the president is fully committing, uh, is keeping his commitment, and uh, in supporting our bill, he does so. Because what we do uh, is we simply allow people who are on DACA now to stay on a new program, uh, a new DACA program that goes for three years, renewable for three years in the future. It allows them to work. It allows them to travel inside and outside the country, but it gives them no other rights. Uh, it does not give them any kind of special pathway to a green card or to citizenship. Uh, it is simply to take care of people who, uh, in most instances, were brought here illegally by their parents and have lived here uh, virtually all their lives. Right. They get to stay here. And if, they, if there's some other way that any other person would immigrate to the United States that they qualify for, you know, marrying a U.S. citizen, employer petitioning for you, then they may be able to qualify that way. But we do not create anything uh, in this legislation that gives them any kind of special pathway uh, to citizenship. It, we do not change the law in any respect to favor these individuals. Representative Goodlad, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I know you guys are working hard, uh, so appreciate you taking the time. Thank you.